There's a lot of opinions and write-ups about how to best approach detection engineering or log collection in our cloud environments. Most of these, if not all of them, describe a type of log that is the most important. In just a second, I'll tell you what that is and why it is so important. Hello, my name is Sean McCullough. I'm a security engineer at GitHub. I'm also a SAN certified instructor and co-author of Security 541, which is all about threat detection in the cloud. So lots of blogs and write-ups. Some of them are put out by the companies themselves. AWS and Azure have really good documentation. We've got researchers like Scott Piper, who's really thought about this approach of cloud mat security maturity and what you need to turn on and how do you need to approach it. Of course, we have official frameworks like NIST. We've got books out there that are really good on cloud security. And we even came up with a poster for it for our class about threat detection. What all of these say, that is, you know, all the stuff that you can do, the most important thing you can do is to turn on and use management API logs. So what is management API logs? Management API logs are uh, describing the interactions between you or, or other resources and the cloud environment itself. In Amazon, this is called CloudTrail, and in Azure, this is called the activity logs. Uh, they document the uh, creation, updating, and deleting of resources. In CloudTrail, they'll also describe the gets and the lists and uh, of, of those kind of resources. So we're not talking about just like virtual machines and databases, but also about users or uh, keys and, and securities and or, uh, uh, secret tokens and things like that. That's all being tracked in the AP, management API logs. Not only the activity that's happened, but who did it, or at least who the cloud thinks it has done it, when it was done, IP addresses, and what was the permissions or what it was the role that was used to perform those activities. This API logs, these management API logs, are the most important and most used when you're doing a detections and investigations. You want to be able to collect these this data like Azure and AWS both allow uh, store this data for like 90 days on its own. But you need to get that and put it into your centralized rep uh, repository. You need to put that into your system like your SIM that's doing analytics that allows you to do detections, looking for key activities in the cloud environment that you would want to respond to. Like for instance, somebody turning off CloudTrail in AWS, you would want to know right away that somebody's manipulating and changing the cloud environment. And so you want to be able to be able to respond to that. So getting that data, those logs into that centralized repository is really, really important. This is your most valuable log. This is used often. Even if you're using other logs like database logs and virtual machine logs, you'll tend to pivot back and forth between your management API logs and then also the resource logs uh, that you might be gathering from the resources you deployed inside the environment. After the management API logs, there's lots of opinions on what's the next tier. Uh, we don't really have time to talk about it, but all of this, the papers and write-ups out there really can be used for you as you approach your thoughts about what's the next, how do I implement this, and how do I do it so that the log collection is happening all the time and, and uh, through all the resources, through all the subscriptions and accounts, I have in my environment. Uh, my name is Sean McCullough, and thanks for listening, everybody.